We'll see what happens in game two, and don't forget the ACC championship tonight on ABC. Tulane won the toss and deferred to the second half. And Plumley to throw. Trying to set up a wide receiver. Screen O'Keefe caught it, but he got lit up. It'll be fourth down, Macon Clark. First team, American Conference safety. Third and five for Tulane. First American regular season championship. Only been to four bowl games the last 20 years. As that pass is caught for a first down by Deuce Watt. A good timing right there from Pratt to Watts. On first down, it's play action. Here's a pup fake and a downfield throw to the tight end, Tyreek James. Knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard line. That ended a 61-game losing streak for Tulane against ranked foes. Spears again, broken tackle. Spears is free inside the 20, and he lowers the boom on the defender, Jarvis Ware. Second down and five. Pratt to the air. Fade to the end zone. Got it. Touchdown. Jay Wyatt pulls it in for a sixth touchdown catch. Championship experience as an assistant and then also in the national championship game as a head coach when he was at Auburn. In trouble, Plumlee and thrown down for a sack. Darius Hodgen. Thrown for over 2,000 yards and 13 touchdowns. Let's see what he does here on third and 13. He's got one on one and he stumbles and that was enough for the defender, Dorian Williams, to get a beat on him. Everybody's standing up too. Again on the roll to the left, and this time the pass was on target. It feels like a big third down for Williams and company here. Pratt rolling to his right, and what a throw it's caught, and Watts is free inside the 30. Watts inside the 20, gets a block, and finally knocked out inside the 10 by Jarvis Ware. There's Spears, dragged down for a loss at the 10 by Josh Seliscar. And he drills it to make it 10 0 Tulane. I don't feel like this is where you call the number of Isaiah Bowser. The big bruising back. Would have been about a 40 yard field goal try from here, and their kickers only missed once all year, but they're going to go for it on fourth down and one. And keeping it is Plumley, and he stumbles and I think came up short. Unless they just try to draw UCF. Nope, they don't, and I don't think Pratt got it. Uh -uh. He got drilled and stood up as he tried to go off right guard, and UCF is going to have the ball deep in Tulane territory. So he did not even suit up today. Here's Castellanos, and he has to complete the Baker. Big hit by Macon Clark. Expect to see him over the left side. Heavy tight end personnel off the left. Bowser picks a hole, and it's the right one. He got a first down. Third quarterback option. They put Castellanos under center on second and goal, and it's a jet sweep. Townsend, touchdown! True freshman Xavier Townsend on the jet sweep, takes it in, and UCF is on the board. So it's 10-7 with Tulane. It's offense back on the field with the sun out now here in New Orleans. Spears, nice juke. Reds and up to about the 40-yard line. Denise TC TCU still moves on. We'll find out tomorrow at noon on ESPN exclusive reveal. Pass to the sideline is caught for a first down by Wyatt. Junior quarterback from Boca Raton, Florida. He's going to throw it here. Long pass this way. Caught by Lawrence Keys. Inside the 20. Keys outrunning the defense and into the end zone for the touchdown. 43 yards for the Notre Dame transfer here today fumbled early Castellanos in trouble wrapped up and sacked at the 25 yard line Patrick Jenkins hung on for dear life the third down of 13 for UCF Castellanos technically the third string quarterback in trouble sacked again at the 15 yard line this time by Keith Cooper they gotta get a stop here Brad on second and ten. Steps up and back down at the 32 by Selescar. A 49-yard field goal try. Brad hit as he throws the ball, flutters, and it's intercepted at the 20-yard line. Returning it is Devontae Brown and knocked out of bounds with 18 seconds to go at the 43-yard line. UCF has. We've been waiting for his name. His defensive coordinator loves him. Watch him work off the edge. Fights through the block.
Gonna see Spears try to block and fights through, gets the arm just as Pratt tries to deliver the football, and it's a gift for Brown and UCF. Castellanos lets it fly. It's a line drive into the end zone, incomplete. They back off. Pratt from the pocket delivers. And Looks like a first down. Alex Spallman, the true freshman. Phenomenal football player, Ty J. Spears. Gets it again here. Looking for the cutback. And he's lost at midfield. Look out, Spears. Inside the 40. He hurdles his own guy. And Spears is gone. Touchdown, Tulane. They got to clean up some Tulane. Offensive lineman off the turf who are running down. For Spears that time trying to block them, they were exhausted. We talked about the counter, they love it. Will Wallace, the tight end, is going to pull back across and get a key block. And then the rest is this Tajay Spears being outstanding, making people miss, running through arm tackles. So good in the open field. A hurdle here or there. I mean, he really is the total package, key piece of this football team. Louisiana native, one of nine children, and Spears might be gone again. Out running defenders in midfield. Past the 30 and finally knocked out of bounds. Clayton Johnson is the deep back here on third down and two. And it's a pass play. Pratt got a man wide open. It's Will Wallace. He stumbles, and then he fumbles the ball. And UCF appears to have it. Wow. A turnover inside the five. Heavy run on the inside. Play action. Wallace wide open in the flat. Watch this effort by 88. Josh Selescar. All out effort to the football. Defense line and not giving up. See if Tulane comes after the young quarterback. Castellanos going to run it. He got out of the end zone and pulled back. I think he's out though. It'll be fourth down. No safety. Darius Hodges wrapped it up. A lineman down here. And it's a quick pass to Johnny Richardson, who's outside the 40-yard line to the 41. Seen Plumley since he got stopped on fourth down. Hands it off here off the left side. R.J. Harvey, and he had the angle. To the 40-yard line and out of bounds. Fourth down and 10. Plumley with time. And it's caught. Bowser first down and more inside the 20, down to the 17-yard line. For a couple of years now, he's at Nichols State. That's where Jarius was at one point, transferred to Tulane. Here's a pass that's on the money to Hudson for the touchdown. Lumley moves UCF right down the field. A 17-yard touchdown, and Knights are back within 11. But just still sensational after all these years. It was 30 years since Jimmy V. Pat. Pratt downfield, Deuce Watt. one away early in the fourth or they just not want to put him back in the game and here comes a jet sweep O'Keefe getting involved in the run game but runs out of room he stepped out and it's a behind the line pass and now throwing it downfield as Harvey got a man it's caught Kobe Hudson into the end zone for a touchdown we just mentioned that he was a high school quarterback and you see the arm on display there, 48 yards, and an important score. And can they finish with a championship? Pratt to throw with time, dumps it off to Spears. And oh, lost the ball while well, Jason Johnson just took it away. Johnson ripped it out at the 30-yard line. What a play. Jason Johnson's been such a key piece of this defense. The transfer comes in, plant drive on the football, just rips it out, takes it away from him. He's back on the football. What an unbelievable play. Baptiste comes in. Hudson's been the go-to guy, though. And Bowser was open. The pass downfield is caught inside the 10 by Baker. Even though he is not 100%, hand it off to Bowser. Keeps his balance, and Bowser dies for the goal line. Touchdown, UCF. And we got a game with 9.48 to go, just like that. Two scores in about four minutes by the Knights. Which is good physical running by Bowser. Sticks it up in there, keeps the legs moving. Nobody there. He leans 
scored right at the goal line. Just three for ten on third down. Brad has been outstanding, though, throughout. Let's see what he does here. Pressure in his face. He delivers. Past the 35, a first down to the 40, Jaquan Jackson. Had a terrific season, second team all-conference. Back to throw here. With time, receiver open in UCF territory. It's Shea Wyatt past the 30. Wyatt inside the 20. Wyatt stays in bounds. Touchdown, Tulane. Prime target throughout the course of this game. Tulane rushes three, Plumley in trouble, moving to his right, now he takes off, and he's dragged down by Dorian Williams, Tulane takes over on downs. Do matter this game right here would be a game to play one of these teams into the playoffs. That's a great point, and it looks like it's going to be Tulane because Pratt is into the end zone for a huge touchdown with four minutes to go. When he was at Auburn, hey, I want you to come here and be my quarterback, and, and he's been healthy and been able really put together a nice season running this offense. Plumley dumps it off short of the goal line, and that's it. Harvey wrapped up, and guess who? Dorian Williams. To the emotion, the recognition, he did it. The greatest turnaround story in college football will continue at the Cotton Bowl. From 10 losses to 11 wins, Tulane is the American Conference champs in 2022.